Hey, what up family? Ramon Preston here, president and CEO of Ramon Preston Enterprises. And by the way, I'm carrying the belt of the next level coach and consultant. I want to help you, your business, your entrepreneurial endeavors, your real estate endeavors get to the next level. Now I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about business ownership. It doesn't mean you got to quit your job to own a business because if you have a job, you are a W2 employee, you're in a perfect position to own a business. Now you've already heard me say on many occasions that your business is your legacy and that's the truth. You can't leave your children your job. However, when you have a job, you don't necessarily have to get a second job, especially if you're not making a, enough income on your first job. Instead of getting a second job, you can keep your first job, but start your first business. This the game. Now, when you start your business, it's important for you to understand how you structure the business. It doesn't matter if you do an S corp, a C corp, a partnership, or LLC. I'm not necessarily concerned about the structure from a legal perspective, as much as I'm concerned about the concept that you use. And that's what I want to talk to you about very quickly because I believe if you're going to own a business, you need to own it using the holding company concept. This is the concept that you need to use if you're going to own a business. Now you may say, if I have a job and I'm working 40 plus hours a week, I'm a W-2 employee, I pay my taxes, why should I own a business. Well, first of all, a business is a system that you're going to use for certain exchanges. And it's not just an exchange of products. Okay. It's not just an exchange of services because what if you don't have no products and services that you want to sell or exchange through a business system? then that means you don't necessarily need a business, but a holding company or a business system is not just for the exchange of products and services. A business system is also for the exchange of ideas. It's also for the exchange of relationships. Think about it. You hooking two people together, one person on this side of the world or community, to another person on this side of the community is actually a business exchange that you can generate money from. Of course, ideas tell me you ain't got an idea. You might have an idea to get rich. You might have an idea to bring young people together. You may have an idea to help mothers. You may have an idea to do something that can change the world. And it's much easier if you take all of those ideas, all of those relationships. And of course, if you got products and services and put them under a business system. Now the concept that I'm encouraging you to use is a holding company concept. Why? Because when you use a holding company concept, and again, if you don't know what a holding company is, I want you to pick up my course entitled uh, The Entrepreneur's Guide. That's what it is, The Entrepreneur's Guide to Business. This course is gonna help you identify with everything you need to know on how to set up, how to structure, and effectively and successfully start your business. Included in this course, The Entrepreneur's Guide to Business, is an entire business startup kit. So all the information you need to know how to start a holding company, this is going to be very important to you because let's say if there's a certain product you have, let's say if there's a certain service you have, let's say if there are 30 ideas you have, let's say if there are 20 relationships you have, I just want to give you an example how this works. Okay. So your product or products is a business, right? Guess what? Your service or services is a business, right? Your 30 or 300 ideas are a business. Your 20 or 120 relationships are a business. So here you've got at least four different business entities or potential business systems Instead of you separating them all at different times, you create one business system that reflects all of those ideas, those products, those services and relationships. And as these products, 
services, ideas, and relationships grow and expand, guess what happens? This one business will start birthing baby businesses. And so now you have business number one, business number two, business number three, business number four that have all started out as departments or auxiliaries or divisions of one business, but at some point they'll sprout out, they'll grow up and they'll become subsidiaries and they'll have a life of their own, but they'll all be connected to the one holding company, which now you through this strategic business concept have given your one holding company a lot of purchasing power. And guess what? Even if you just did that and didn't have any of this and you're working on a job where you're a W2 employee, guess what happens? Because you own a business, now you can deduct your gas, you can deduct office space in your home, you can deduct uniforms, you can deduct certain food, you can deduct marketing, you can deduct business cards. Oh my God, there's so many things you can deduct, watch this, that you're gonna pay for anyway because you're going to work because you live in, because you have expenses, because you have bills and utilities and you don't have a business. But when you have a business, even while you still work a job, you can still use all these as deductions with the same money you're spending that you're paying bills with uh, anyway from your job. So I want you to click the link. I want you to pick up the course of the Entrepreneur's Guide to Business and we have added a do it yourself free, absolutely free, just as an added bonus to you. We have added a do it yourself business startup kit to show you everything you need to know, give you all the links to business systems uh, so that you can get your business started. And guess what? If you need some extra help and assistance, we have a next level coaching and consulting program in our business and our organization will be more than happy to assist you to support you to undergird you so we can help you take your business your organization your entrepreneurial endeavors to that next level